one doesn't take much paint, doesn't take much effort. Just dab on the edges and you're blending in those edges so that way that you can't see the burnt plastic. It's all blended in. Just barely touch the edge. Remember, I'm covering the wire as well because it's the wrong color. And on the back, you'll see a tiny bit of paint, but that is perfectly fine. It looks very natural. really want it on the back here uh, because it it's a too obvious so I'm just wiping it off with my finger what better tool do you have than your fingers huh here's kind of a big piece just make sure you just paint the tips and you can paint them any color they don't have to be black they don't have to blend in you can you could paint the tips gold if you wanted to you probably want to pull out one of the colors in the glitter, but since you have gold and greens and blues and purples and black, you could really pick from any of those. And I just touched what I just did over here. Let me go back over it. And that's all there is to it. You let it dry, and then you can attach it to your fairy. Um, you can bend the claw in. The claw wouldn't really be that long. So you just can bend it in. And... I'm going to work with the dry one here. You can, uh, as you can see, it's very bendable. You can do pretty much anything to it. It's not going to hurt it at all. Just bend it right back into the shape you want. Uh, you could have your fairy where you want their wings wrapped around them and to come to the front. You could do that. Or you could have the shiny part out and have, them, have it wrapped up. And you have your fairy sitting right here. And it could be like in a little cocoon if you wanted. And then, of course, you would do the same thing with the other bat wing. Exactly the same. You cut it out. You cut the wires to where you want. You heat, use your heat gun to set everything. And then um, use the paint on the, uh, the whatever color paint you want on the edges to finish it off. And that, those are your bat wings. Next step, since I'm already using black paint, is, are the dragon wings and the dragon wings we're going to cut out First we're going to start we're going to just do one show you how it is and do the exact same thing on the other one of course I like to cut close to the wire on the outside I've tried to leave it larger before and with gallery glass on the outside and I just don't care for that look although you certainly can if you have another purpose for it I'm doing this a little bit rushed because it's an easy part and you don't need to memorize the little cuts. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and begin to hate heat set it.
Uh, now I've melted the cellophane so that it adheres uh, to the edges of the wing, and I'm gonna now I'm gonna go over the wing itself to make the glitter change color. And now it's going to be very hot. Don't turn it over and don't work with it right now. Let it cool down. Uh, it's going to be hot to hold and uh, the gallery glass has kind of remelted. So don't bend it over on itself or else it's you'll, you'll absolutely ruin the wing. And also if you overheat it, you'll, have, you'll notice these little bubbles sticking up and it'll just continue to bubble and bubble the more you heat it. And sometimes you can get pretty nice effects with that and sometimes uh, it just burns. So you just... Be careful, watch it in a good light, um, and wait until it changes colors, and then you'll, you'll have a wing that, that has a lot of iridescence to it. And we're not finished with this one. We're going to wait until it cools down just a little. And it's, it's cool enough that the gallery glass isn't sticking. So, And we will cut these down some. Actually, we could do that now. I'm just going to cut them blunt with the wings, with the gallery glass, because I don't necessarily want to hang anything from it. Um, yeah, this is the dragon wing. Uh, here you have your, your little claw. Oh, we're not going to mess with the claw. What we're going to do on this one, we're going to do a little bit different effect. Um, instead of instead of the this kind of wing, and you can do this on any of them, of course. Um, this kind of wing, remember, used black gallery glass, and then with the, the polyflake glitter on top of it, and then it's once it's heated, it has multiple colors on it. And on the back, it's just plain gallery glass. On this one, on this wing, you, it, we used clear gallery glass, just like this, and then we put the glitter on one side, just like this one, and we set it. And then when we turn this one over, it's painted just plain black. And that's what we're going to do to get that color um, through there. And it's a little bit different color. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, they're, they're two different colors. So we're going to be working on this one right now. Get my paintbrush. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a drop of paint on there so I can see what I'm doing. And you want this fairly thick. You don't want to be able to see the streaks. You don't want to be able to see that it's paint on there. You want it to look like it's part of the wing. Sometimes it takes two layers depending on the color and the thickness of the paint. 